It's Monday. You guys are used to Fridays, but I'll be at a wedding this weekend, so you don't get Friday this week, you get Monday. Huh? It's my brother's wedding. It's my brother's wedding. And he's getting married. And I'm his best man, so I guess I fucking have to be there. So we're gonna do that, but today's exciting. We're gonna snatch balance plus overhead squats, one plus one on the dog pack this week. So I get to push that pretty heavy. I'm thinking anywhere from 40 to 50 on that. Then it's snatch full plus low hang snatch. Last week it was snatch plus low hang snatch. We're dropping volume, so it's snatch pull plus low hang snatch up to some heavy because I'm on the gold program where I have that option. And if you know me, I'm gonna take that option every single time. So I'm thinking anything 45 or more on that. Body weight's sitting real pretty. Everything is dialed in, slept really good last night. So I'm very tight this morning though. So I gotta, just, I gotta make sure I warm up enough. But Mondays are really snatch focused. So everything you see today is going to be revolving around the snatch. I'll do some technique shit today. Talk a little bit more than I would on a Friday. Fridays were just like going absolutely feral on weights, but today we'll I'll talk about technique a little bit and hope you learn something across the next 12, 10 to 12 minutes, however long Nico makes the video. But let's get started. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys like this hoodie? I like this hoodie. Stick around to the end of the videos if you want to know where to get it. <laughs> oh. A lot of times when your snatch overhead mobility feels like shit, it could just be because we don't use our rear delts for like fucking anything in our daily lives. So you can stretch and open things up as much as you want and your overhead position probably won't get that much better. If you activate your rear delts and get those firing, then you'll feel mobile because the muscles that are supporting the barbell are actually on and active. And you can feel good instead of just stretching, getting extra loose and fucking yourself up. So instead of stretching a lot, try to activate shit. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, these feel good.
Bar's jamming. It's jamming. <laughs> ah, that miss looks so gnarly from that angle. It looks so bad. So I think. I have a suspicion that doing 150 for the snatch balance overhead squat did not help that because my catch has been fairly strong recently, but the pull has literally like never felt that strong. 150 felt like 130 and I just couldn't hold it over my head. And then I went back down to 130 and did the exact same thing. So probably pushed it a little too far on the snatch balance overhead squat, but I don't give a fuck. I pulled on 150 a couple times. And that was my snatch PR this time last year. So, whatever, dude. Doing panda pulls is a complete and utter waste of time. And panda pulls, if you don't know what those are, it's where you finish the pull and then you like pull yourself back down to the bar. That teaches you to lose your connection to the bar. So if you're doing those, uh, stop and do your pulls correctly. So when you're snatching, you don't ever wanna lose the barbell. You wanna make sure you're connected to the barbell the whole entire time. And if you are panda pulling, you're teaching yourself to lose connection to the bar and dive under. Panda pulls suck. You are not a Chinese lifter. You were not selected at birth for the sport and trained it from when you were five years old. Your guy that started it when he had already hit puberty, most likely, and you're training to get better at snatching, so do it correctly. Don't do what you see the best in the world doing because they are literally, the Chinese lifters are literally like science projects. They can do one foot snatch pulls and still snatch world records. You and I, we cannot. So let's do what works the best. Those are the pulls. I did four sets and you can only film two. So before y'all start talking shit that are on the dog pack, I did all the sets. Now we got heavy fives. And after that, we're done. 
but the fives this week are, it's a three by five, but it's probably the most challenging squat workout of this, uh, of this block. It shouldn't be that hard, but we'll see. Thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Dozer Lifts Weights. Um, yeah, that's what a Monday looks like on the dog pack. If you guys are wanting a well-rounded training program that you can stick to, that's not too expensive, sign up for the dog pack. And if you want videos attached to the core exercises, but kind of break down what you should focus on when you're doing that exercise, the dog pack gold is amazing for that. Um, I come in here every Sunday, film videos for the week. Make sure you guys have some direction when you're going into the program. So yeah, if you want to get better at weightlifting, sign up for the dog pack. I'm doing the dog pack right now. Training's never gone better. So yeah, other things. Um, what am I wearing? I'm wearing barbell apparel. So the ultralight joggers are the best joggers there are. And Barbell Apparel just released a new uh, collab line with Dozer. So you can get these ultralight joggers with a Dozer logo on them. You can get these shirts with the Dozer logo on them. So if you want to support me and wear the best training clothes, click the link in the description, get that stuff. I'm not kidding you guys. I know I'm sponsored by them, but it is some great stuff. Uh, wrist wraps, straps, belt, all that stuff. Onyxstraps.com, discount code Dozer. And for all your supplement needs, Gorilla Mind, they have the best supplements, period. Everything is fully dosed. It is the most researched supplement line there is. So if you guys want great supplements, use discount code Dozer on Gorilla Mind. But that's it for the ads. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.